Okay, so uh, we are now in the main loop. Uh, what happens in, ma in the main loop? We need to uh, first of all uh, save the best answer, uh, which happens in each iteration. So uh, we are going to predefine it uh, using a zero uh, uh, function, which is defined in MATLAB, which hands out the uh, matrix which all its elements are zero regarding the number of uh, the number of rows and columns which we define for it so it's going to be a matrix by t rows and one column which all which uh, the uh, elements in it are zero so this is going to be our best if we look at it later here we can see that uh, sorry here we can see that um, the, be the, uh, the best cost at each iteration is going to be stored here in the best variable so let's move on uh, it, it, we have two loops uh, inside each other so the first one is uh, starts from 1 to the number of iteration and the next one is going to start from 1 to the number of particles so the first iteration we start uh, from here we are going to use the uh, the updating equation regarding to our uh, uh, algorithm so at PSO algorithm uh, we explained here uh, th this part which is going to be devoted to updating uh, equation of uh, particles we update the particle velocity uh, adding particle velocity to the uh, particle position will hand us the uh, the near position of the particle uh, f so uh, after that in these two lines means 55 and 56 we are going to examine if our particle has exceeded the boundary we have defined or not particles position so we examine it at the first we are going to examine if it's have crossed the upper bound uh, or if it has been crossed the lower bound if not uh, uh, later we are going to calculate the fitness function uh, and uh, here we are going to uh, see that if the particle position the particle cost sorry we have obtained is better than the best particle uh, the particles uh, best position obtained by itself or not uh, regarding their cost so uh, if the cost of the particle is better than its own uh, previously obtained costs we are going to change it uh, change the new position it has obtained as the best position of its own so if this happen uh, it may be a candidate for the global best it may be uh, uh, the best one within the whole global of particles so we are going uh, to examine it uh, uh, f from the second point of view which is uh, the global best so if the cost obtained by this particle is the b is uh, lower than the cost of the uh, G particle with me is the global best so we are going to replace the global best with the particles uh, details update here so here we are going to update, uh, update uh, the best as uh, obtained by the whole particles and even by the uh, particle update itself and the, again this, this, this loop will repeat for the number of population and later on at the next uh, so uh, we will uh, as I told uh, we will decrease the number of the, the amount of W uh, which is a, a, a dec decremental uh, coefficient uh, regarding to speed of the convergence and uh, we will uh, here store the best amount obtained by the particles the whole global particles uh, in a variable by the name best uh, which at each iteration uh, the, the best happens in its iteration and later on with display function we are going to display uh, at the command window the, the, the iteration number uh, and the uh, we are going to do to the, the best uh, cost obtained in that iteration so uh, here uh, the, and this loop would uh, re be repeated for the number of iteration as you can see here for the number of uh, iterations
configuration we have specified before. 